Presidential endorsement by a Monument High School newspaper is sparking outrage. And now the students at Palmer Ridge High School who publicly backed Hillary Clinton say they're being bullied for it. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman met with the students from the school newspaper. And Bonnie, sounds like a lot of backlash after that publication. Yeah, this newspaper got a lot of attention. This is actually physically the paper that's causing all of this trouble. And this is a closer look. Now, the front of the page reads, We're with. Her referring to Hillary Clinton, but now many in the monument area are outraged. Most of them are parents, some even calling for students' suspensions. I was definitely surprised by the reaction that we were getting from all of this. A bold move from a high school student newspaper is putting the editors in the spotlight. This last week, our website hits increased by 2,000% due to this editorial. The editorial team, made up of nine students, publicly endorsed Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton for president. An editorial is not designed to be balanced. We see it as starting a discussion. It helps people understand complex issues by us starting a discussion. Backlash came quickly. People suspected that I had written it, and and that that was my way of of sort of indoctrinating my own students in my own personal views, and and I just could not believe that. But most of the complaints didn't come from fellow students. I never thought it would get to the point, you know, where kids would be attacked, and and really most of the attacks have have come from the parents. It's just very harsh, negative comments, and you know, angry phone calls saying this is illegal and it must be taken down immediately. We we do live in a community. Where it traditionally is very conservative. And we did a liberal endorsement, and this is a very conservative community. And they're right. According to the El Paso County Clerk and Recorder's Office, residents in both the Palmer Lake and Monument areas are heavily Republican. And we had some students today who actually wore their uh, Trump shirts. And of course, they're exercising their First Amendment right, which I think is great. And I just think it's awesome that we're starting a discussion within our school. I hope these people realize that. We're young adults and we can form our own opinions. Many parents also question whether the editorial violates school rules, but District 38 says policies governing student publications allow for such opinions. Now, due to so many complaints, the principal at the school sent an email out to parents saying that political views expressed or an opinion of the student newspaper's editorial board and does not reflect any position held by the school or the district. For now, reporting live in the Newsplex, Bonnie Silkman for KRDO News Channel 13. Bonnie, thanks so much. And now.